Hello, amazing morticians, and welcome to the second video in the series where we're exploring the new Maltic community portal. In this series, we're going to be exploring assemblies, what they are, why they're important, why you might want to get involved with using them, and what you can do. So in the first video, if you've not caught that yet, you run through logging into the portal, setting up your profile, and configuring your notification preferences. Now what we're going to do is to have a look under the assemblies uh, menu item on the top menu here. So go ahead and click assemblies. Now here it tells you a bit of an introduction of what an assembly is. It's basically a grouping of people who come together to make decisions about specific things or to run different parts of the community. We have different reasons for having assemblies. So some of them are relating to governance. You'll see here we've got some highlighted assemblies of the council and the general assembly, but there's also assemblies for teams. So you will see here the community team, the education team, legal and finance, marketing and product team, and also things like Mortic meetups, which you'll see up here. And organizing things like Morticon has its own working group, which has its own assembly. So a few things just to bear in mind. An assembly can actually have assemblies within it. So you can nest groups within groups. And that goes down to quite a long way. So you'll see here within the community team, we have two assemblies within that community team. So let's have a look and see what this is. So the community team, it tells you again, you can dismiss this box if you don't want to see this. At the top, there's always a hashtag associated throughout the whole of this platform. There'll be a hashtag. If we want to, we can hide this box. This tells you about the team or the assembly or the working group or its reason for being basically it explains to you what the team does, what the tasks are, why it exists really. And it tells you how long it's going to last for, because sometimes they will exist for a finite period of time to do a particular thing. And that will be explained in the side menu here. Now, something important in this whole community portal is a concept of following. If you follow something, you will get updates whenever there's changes in that thing that you follow. So if we were to follow the community team, Anytime there's a new meeting organized or a new blog post or anything like that, we will get pinged to let us know. So that's good if you're interested in that particular thing. When you're in the overview of the assembly, at the top, you've got a sub menu. So this is what I would call the assembly menu. And this is what I would call the main menu at the top here, assembly menu here. It tells you the assembly, this is the overview. You can see the members of the assembly. So this would be like the people who are the lead or the assistant lead. It might be the main contributors who are actually driving this assembly forwards. It could be other people who hold other roles in that assembly or team project, whatever. And that can be different um, components along this menu. So in the community team, you'll notice we've got a blog. Anything across the whole of the community portal can have a blog. And they all get put out into the activity feed. So it's a great way of keeping people apprised of what your team is working on and what your project is doing. And in this case, you can see that there's an official post from the team asking for people who are interested in promoting Mortic in their local regions to become ambassadors to come and tell us that they're interested. And then we've got meetings here, which I'll come back to in a minute. So on the home page of the assembly, this will be the same for every assembly across the whole of the portal. We've got our information. If there are meetings in this assembly, we'll see them here. So you can see that there's some meetings organized here for the community team. If there's more than three, then you'll be able to click here to go to see all of them. If there are assemblies within the assembly, they'll be listed here. So you can see Mortic Meetups and the Morticon Working Group, because the community team is responsible for everything that is to do with the community. And that includes organizing Morticons, and it includes supporting and facilitating Mortic meetups. And as I mentioned, they can also have assemblies within them. So you see that the Mortic Meetups Assembly actually has five Mortic Meetup groups within it. And then there's some stats at the bottom, which we're not too worried about. So if we go into the meeting, so we'll have a look at this one, for example. 
It will tell you over here about the date. I'll just cancel this just to make it easier to show. So you can see information about the meeting, like what's going to go on in the meeting. You can add comments here and I can join the meeting here to indicate that I want to attend. An important thing that we need to bear in mind is within this community platform, you can act as yourself, but you can also act on behalf of, say, a team that you represent or a working group that you represent or a tiger team that you represent. So if I join this meeting, I can join this meeting as myself, but I can also check this box and it gives me the option of all of the teams that I'm actually a part of, which are groups, which I'll explain in a later video to say that I'm actually representing this team, this group, this tiger team, this whatever, uh, when I attend this meeting. And then there's a checkbox to say, show my attendance publicly. So you, if you don't want your attendance to be shown, leave that unchecked. So if I click confirm, you can see down here that it now shows that I'm attending. If I cancel that registration and then I register and say I represent the marketing team, say I'm joining the community team on behalf of the marketing team, show my attendance publicly, then you can see that it's showing my attendance actually as the marketing team rather than just me personally. So you know that there's a representative of the marketing team who's coming to that meeting. So all of the meetings will have that option to join as you or to join as a team or a project or whatever that you're associated with. Also, you can stop following the event if you don't want to get notifications, for example, and you can add comments as you or as a team that you represent. So that's meetings. Meetings are the same across the whole portal. And when we go to this meetings tab, we can actually see all the meetings for this team. These are upcoming meetings, but we can also show all meetings. So it will show us past ones as well. And when a meeting closes, you can actually close and say what was discussed. You can share a link to the minutes. You can share what proposal you, you discussed in that meeting and what was accepted and what companies attended and all that kind of stuff. So there's lots of things that you can do. So that's assemblies, basically. And you'll notice that some of them are slightly different. They're organized slightly differently. Um, but you can go and have a look to your heart's content and explore what the different assemblies do. Um, when you look at this view, you'll always see the next upcoming meeting. So it's always easy to see the next upcoming meeting for a team if you're interested in joining or assembly or what have you. I think that's all we need to go through as regards to assemblies. We'll do some different um, in-depth videos on the council and the general assembly and things like that. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. That's great. Thanks very much.